Okay, I'm making spatzel. I wasn't gonna videotape it and I've already started, so I'll back up to where I where I am at this point. Um, in here, my bowl, I have one cup of flour, two eggs, a little bit of pinch of salt, some black pepper, that's the black specks, I like pepper in mine, uh, quite a substantial grating of nutmeg, and about a quarter cup of milk. You want it to be quite, I'm not having a very good angle, you want it quite blobby, that is a technical term. If you want little itty bitty lacy spätzle, make it softer and looser than this. If you want great big rock star spagel, spätzle, sorry, make it thicker, but I think this is about right. Um, I have salted boiling water here. Actually, I should probably take these guys out first. Um, you get a lot, of, I got boiling, uh, ice water here too. You get a lot of spätzle, a lot of noodles for very little cost input um, at all. So, oops. I'm far messier when I'm being watched, so here we go. Water's boiling, salted. Um, I have this little spatzel maker, however. You don't need one. Uh, any kind of colander works really well. Strainers with holes, uh, a box grater. You can buy those flat box graters. Um, I did that for years before a friend gave me this. So for this one, you sort of drop the dough in and then slowly roll it forward and it sort of pushes the batter down through the holes. These things are pretty cool, actually. And so you sort of run it back a couple times till your little bowl is empty. Okay, I don't really think I have enough in here to mess with, but I was taught 100 years ago, you scrape out your bowls that way. You get everything. So this one little cup of flour and the two eggs will do enough more than enough spätzle for Connor and I for dinner tonight, which is fantastic. There you go, that's it. This is the easiest thing on earth. And when they give them a little stir around, hey, look at this. You could season these any way you want. You could put garlic powder in or any herbs that you like. Actually, I quite like it with herbs. I didn't think to do that this time around. Um, These were a bit, a bit tiny, the first batch, but yeah, look at this. So basically when they come to the surface, they're done. And give them another minute or 30 seconds or so. Boiling so they look, they don't look wet and raw. Scoop them out. See, look at these little darlings. Oh, no, I'm gonna burn myself if I do that, so I'm not going to. I won't, okay, I will, I'll sample one. Ow, ow, ow. Hmm. They're tender. They have a really good flavor. I think it's the nutmeg. And I like them quite eggy with the two. I use extra large eggs. And that's it. So um, I'm going to, they're in ice water right now. And let's take a look. I'll bring you over here. Take a look. See, here they are in the ice water. I'm going to drain them here in a sec, put them on the counter covered. And then at dinner tonight, I'm gonna fry them up. I'll, the second half of the video will be the good stuff, the, the frying up bit. Uh, I need to go get my bacon fat. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Okay, I'm back. I'm just going to do, this is the part two of the spätzle. Look, Ooh, here they are. This is a little bit of bacon fat that I had left over. Uh, just shushing, I'm getting a little handful of this. I'm just cooking just for me right now. I big piece of it on okay. Give it a little, a little shake around. Put the pepper. Just not hardly ever any salt at all because uh, it's in bacon. This is going to make you break up with me. I completely understand. This is margarine. Yes, 
it is. It's margarine. Uh, I want it on a medium high flame. I have some uh, pork. And I combine my eggs and flour together. Okay? So you get it nice and coated. Drop it in cracker crumbs. These are saltines. Yeah, I'm going way old school today. And I can't even go into all of the millions of reasons that I use margarine to cook my schnitzel. I don't know. I tried a bunch of other things. I only had margarine in here one time. And that's how that happened. There you go. Not super deep. I'm going to turn you off while I wash my hands. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, yeah, I, uh, I'm all about the, uh, the margarine for this. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I have a little bit here melted in a cup. But I do a little tiny bit on the top. So when I flip it up, so when I flip it over, it'll, uh, we'll get some on that side. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, baby. So then I turn the temperature down after I've done one side, flip it. Tell me you're not bursting into flames over that. Over here we've got the, we, we don't, I do, got my spatzel. See, I like to get little crusty bits. Mm. And here we go. I like lime, which doesn't go at all for anybody else. Mm -hmm. I like a little bit of lime squeezed on. Let me just get this cut. And, oh, I learned this cool trick a long time ago regarding limes. You see, you just sort of just leave that. On the edge of it. Okay, so if you have a line like this, okay, normally people cut it. I'm oh, sorry about my cut finger. Normally people cut it straight down at the at the um, at the ends, but if you go slightly off center like that, you get way more juice. Uh, you can do it on all four sides. Hey, that's my handy dandy trick of the day. I squeeze right in here. This is going to be good. So, oh, so the coating for my pork is hmm, probably about half a cup of flour. I have enough to do probably six of these, five or six of these. Connor likes them, so I'll make his fresh later. Um, so it's about a half a cup of flour, an egg, uh, half a cup or more of milk. I want it to be quite loose. You saw what the texture was. And then salt and pepper. That's that's it. I think it's easier for me rather than doing the the three bowl method, which is the flour and then the eggs and then the, the breadcrumbs. This is the, the batter is just mixed in together. And then, as I said, it's just saltine crumbs with a little bit of pepper in. I've been known to add paprika. Oh, look at how beautiful this thing is. Look at this. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit here just till we'll be done very quickly. I'm a peeker in that I cut it to look in to make sure. That, oh, look at that little crunchy bit. Oh yeah. Mm. You know what I'd like on that? Since I don't have any gravy or anything, a little bit of cream. Make it juicy. Just a little. Turn that temperature up a bit. There you go. Did that make that's already in the uh, spatial? 
goes nicely with the, the creaminess. You can add cheese to this if you want and do like a, a faux macaroni and cheese or something. Let's look in here. It's probably done, but look, I cut. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So that is some beautifully cooked pork. Okay. So we I can then take my spatzel, put that on my plate. And then I like to cut my pork up. Watch this, it's gonna be awesome. Sorry. Move you over to one side. Take the pork out. And then I'm cutting it. Beautiful creature. There you go. Lunch. Dinner. Fantastic.